What is going on, everybody? Welcome in to another episode of Train Simulator 2021. Today we are checking out the new BNO uh, Mountain Sub by High Iron Simulations and a bunch of other people who helped. Uh, we're not in a scenario or anything, it's just something I whipped up real quick. Um, just to run down most of the trackage, it's 101 miles from here in Cumberland all the way to Grafton, West Virginia, and I plan on running most of it today. Uh, a little bit of the rolling stock you get. This is not something that comes with it. This is the True Rail Simulations GP40 um, reskin slash upgrade that they did to the GP40. You have to have the, the, the base GP40 pack um, for this to work. Got two of them on the head end. Then I've got this Western Maryland um, GP40. This does come with the, the route. And then a BNO SD35. This also comes with the, the route as well. Along with these trailers. All these trailers right here. They all come in the route. There's a lot of rolling stack that comes with this route, and then we got a good old caboose on the end. I'm not going to go through all the rolling stock and engines that come with it. Um, there's plenty of other videos that uh, show that off, so I'm not going to waste my time with it. But I am going to run, run the mountain sub today. I believe I'm facing the right way. So uh, we will uh, hop in the cab here real quick, and we'll get going. Alrighty, so we're now in the cab of the True Rails GP40. They didn't do anything to the inside of it, I don't believe. It was just the outside and um, horn bell upgrade and light upgrade as well. I think I'm facing the right way. Let's see here. Yes, I am facing the right way. So here's the route. Here's us. All the way up here in Cumberland. And we're going all the way down here to graft. I don't know if I'm going to do it all in one video or not. It's going to be a long video. But yeah, we're going to run all the way from here up in uh, Cumberland all the way down to Grafton. Whether it's all in one video, I don't know yet. We'll see. Alright, well, there we go. Hopefully this video finds you guys well today. Train's moving. Alright, whole train's moving. Go ahead and throttle up some more. So we'll definitely be fooling around with this route. On first looks, it doesn't look that bad. Um, I, I like what I see for the most part. Initially, just from around the tracks. No, we can. Oh, that's not what I wanted. While the train's moving, we can go back. Here, here's Cumberland Yard. There's the big, I uh, this is the round house. Yeah, this is the big round house. Back here, it looks like these are the engine shops. Uh, fueling racks. And then the big yard. You know, I had a massive yard down here. So you get you get 101 miles of B&O's Mountain Sub, and you get 30 miles of the Western Maryland Thomas Sub, I believe is the name of it. All for this, it is $35 off of Steam, and you can get it for yourself if you like it that much. The uh, locomotives, those that you get with the route, are kind of meh. They're not terrible, but they're not the greatest either. Um, that's why we're using the True Rail stuff, because True Rail stuff's way better, anyways. Um, it's not bad. I'm go back to them real quick. Yeah, there's the GP40 again, and here's the. The SD35. 
Reaper is also an SW12 and a GP9 or 7 you also get um, with the route as well. to go through the Cumberland Terminal, not the Terminal, the Depot. And then we will split off at, oh, uh, what is this place called up here? I don't know if it actually has a name. Viaduct Junction, and we will split off to the left, and we will go down the Mountain Sub. Get a little outside view of the bell on the horn real quick. I think that's a K5 LA that they have on this. some outside action as we roll into Viaduct Junction. speeding a bit, but it is what it is. A nice screenshot of them coming across this bridge real quick. Oh, Jesus, we are. Losing speed really quick. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out all of my uh, pages in the link below, which are my Instagram, my Flickr, and Facebook page, which are all which are all linked in the description, and all are going to be pretty active here here soon enough. So make sure you check those out and make sure you hit the subscribe button here on YouTube if you haven't already. It means a lot to me that you guys enjoy the content that you guys see. Lots of new and exciting stuff out in the gaming world right now. For us at least, you know, I got this new route. Got this got this new route on Train Simulator. Wyoming and the new truck were just released in American Truck Simulator and a bunch of other stuff too. It's, it's a good time right now. You can pile that in with some uh, some rail fanning videos. Should make for some good time good content here coming up. Almost into the 50. So another thing I like, it's not 25 up the whole grade. 
I guess we'll see. We've still got a long ways to go. Um, I will have the TrueL GP40 linked in the description below so that you guys can get easy access to it. I'll take it right to their page. Uh, probably later this week as well, we'll do a, uh, we'll do some scenarios, some of the career scenarios that come with this route. You get 13 scenarios with the route. Uh, later this week, we'll probably do a few of those in a live stream. I know I've got a live stream coming up for American Truck Simulator. That'll probably be tomorrow or Friday, and whichever day I don't do American Truck Sim, I'll do Train Simulator. And then I might do some live streaming over the weekend as well. We'll see. Depends if I end up going anywhere or not. Probably not. So we'll probably probably end up doing something over the weekend as well. But stay tuned. I'll uh, obviously keep you guys updated on that. I really like these signals. These signals look pretty good. The color position lights. Alright, now we're into the 50. So we'll get her on, get this train on up to track speed here. At first glance, a lot of the scenery doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. I'm sure we're not speeding yet. Jose Uribera was otherwise known as uh, Manicha 5 on the Trains and Community page, just posted a uh, repaint of the NSSC 40s in the, the B&O scheme. So we'll probably be running those on some heavy cold train or something, because they look good. Concrete milepost signs. See, those are pretty cool. find the next crossing which actually looks like it could be right up here and we'll do a, we'll do a run by real quick Nothing too spectacular, but... Alright, looks like we've got a 45 up here.
it looks like we're coming into Amseli. That's how you pronounce it. Take a look at these places over here. They look pretty good. Looks like they have like a trans loading, not trans loading, but loading for box cars and stuff. Pretty cool. There's more industries on this side. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, we're almost into the 50. I'm guessing that must have been a Y or something. Or just some yard off off the main. Cool, no bucks or nothing at that crossing. It's awesome. It's very safe. Another 45. What is up with these 45s that went into 50s? I'm not going to worry about this one. I got a 40 coming up, and the company house curve, I don't know if that. I got a 25 coming up too, so. Yeah, we should probably start slowing down. Clop hop in the cab here and... Pretty scenic Get back in here. How far have we gotten? Probably not very far. No. We'll go. We'll go until we get to Kaiser today. We'll go to Kaiser today.
so I must be coming from the grain elevator or something. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna start pulling downhill here, so I might have to throw some dinos on. My cards right, I shouldn't have to throttle down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Alright, we go back to the 50. Yeah, so far this isn't that bad. I, uh, I can see myself actually running this route, probably. Get some of the jointed rail SD40s in here. Whether it's the ones that Monitor 5 has redone, or CSX one, since this is now a CSX route. Yeah, I could see myself running this line. Still waiting for the day that we get a Midwestern route for uh, Train Simulator, besides the racetrack. Uh, I guess we have the Kansas City route too, but I want something else too. We've got like 
two routes for the Midwest compared to like the 15 for the East Coast and the 15 for the West Coast. into Rollins. Holding there at a steady 50. Yeah, this is actually kind of peaceful. I'm actually really enjoying this. sure my opinion on this will change once we actually like start going through the mountains and all that because that was something we do
All right, so it looks like we're back into another 50 zone, so we'll get her notched up so we can get her up to 50 again. Or not, because there's another flipping 45 coming up for the curve. So never mind. I'm not sure what this third track is off to the left. Oh, I guess I could look. I don't know if this is just like a third main they had or what. I guess I maybe should have read the description a little better. <laughs> oh, but yeah, this is, as I've kept been saying, this is, this is pretty nice so far.
this is pretty cool. I don't know if this is like a little quarry over here or something. No, that's pretty cool. Alrighty, we are getting ready to pull into Kaiser here, so I'll start slowing down. This will be the end of part one for the look on this route. But before we go, here's a quick look. Stop the platform. Here's a quick look at Kaiser Yard. So we go down the middle with the yard splitting on us on both sides. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, well that's going to end part one of the look at the piano mountain sub. So far, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, we will pick it up part two from Kaiser, and we will continue continue on down the tracks for part two. So, till next time, guys. Take care.